not your average fishtail. Wait until you hear this story. A woman in Florida is lucky to be alive today. She and her boyfriend were out kayaking when a fish jumped out of the water, hitting her so hard it broke her ribs and collapsed a lung. She struggled to breathe and was in desperate need of medical attention. Before we speak exclusively with her, CBS News correspondent Kelly Cobiea has her remarkable story of survival. For most kayakers, an afternoon in the mangroves of the Florida Keys is the perfect end to a day. But last October, Carrie Larson and her boyfriend Michael's excursion took a terrifying and almost deadly turn. 911. Yes, I got an emergency. My girlfriend's been hit by a flying fish. I think it was a barracuda or something. First thought to be a needlefish, Carrie says it was a barracuda that attacked her out of nowhere. She saw it jump out of the water twice, and on the third jump, it dove toward the couple's boat and hit her on the side. It came diving past the kayak and hit her broadside, knocked her out of the boat, and she's got, like, broken ribs and punctured lung. Oh, she has a punctured lung? Yes, sir. I have my hand holding her lungs closed here. Okay, sir, I need to know where you're going to come into. I'm holding her ribs with one hand. I cannot paddle this kayak anywhere right now. I need you guys to come to me. Getting to them would be no easy task in these Florida backwaters. Towboat owner Kevin Freestone volunteered to help search, speaking to Michael on the phone. He knew exactly what to tell me. He said, you all need to get here as quick as you can. Um, you need to save a life today. It had been about 30 minutes since the original 911 call, and time was running out. We uh, were uh, going around the corner of this island. It's all mangroves and... We thought, we're going to see him soon, see him soon, see him soon, and all of a sudden, there it was, orange kayak. As Carrie clung to life, she was transported back to the marina, then airlifted to a Miami hospital and taken straight to the intensive care unit. Carrie survived her harrowing encounter, but she remained in the ICU for nine days, recovering from a shattered rib and a punctured lung. Kelly Cobiella, CBS News, Miami.